guys, this is my crystal from the Airs Inspired Makeup Tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. First off, I'm gonna clip my hair back so no strands of hair is getting on my way. So I'm gonna start my makeup with Hourglass Veil Primer. I basically apply it all over my face, but I try to focus more on the spots where I have the most pores. Now I'm taking Catrice Matte Mousse Makeup Foundation. It's a cream to powder finish and it provides amazing coverage. So it's perfect to recreate the flawless skin that Crystal has. And I'm using Sigma's F84 brush to blend it in. To blend it even more and create that sort of airbrush looking, I'm taking my beauty blender and basically doing the patting motion. Because foundation cannot cover everything, I'm taking NYX's HD Photogenic Concealer to counteract all the redness that I have on my cheeks. On top of that, I'm using Leo Alice Mix Concealer because this time I want to cover my redness perfectly. And I do the same patting motion again with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to be setting all the liquids and creams with MAX Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. Now I'm doing my brows. I kind of forgot to film this, but I'm using my all-time favorite Vanilla Coast I Love Powdery Eyebrow Pencil in number 1 Cafe Latte. Crystal wears her brows pretty straight. She doesn't really have any arcs, so I'm drawing mine in a similar way without any dramatic curves. Now I'm going to be taking two single eyeshadows from MAC, Wedge and Coquette to fill them in. I'm adding final touches with my pencil on the tails, making sure that both brows are even and tidy. To stick the brow hair in place, I'm using a Tweet House Brow Mascara. Now I'm priming my eyelids with Misha's Goodbye Crease Eye Makeup Primer in number 1 beige. Next, I'm using Max Paintly Paint Pot to conceal any of the veins I may have and also to make the eyeshadow stay longer. Taking my MAC 14 brush, I'm highlighting my brow bones with my skin toned eyeshadow. I used a Tweet House Single Eyeshadow in Honey Milk. Eye makeup is going to be very subtle, so I'm taking Stila's In The Light palette and use this two color Bliss and Bubbly to spread it all over my eyelids. With a roundy blending brush, I think it's MAC 214, I'm diffusing the harsh lines I may have. Now I'm using Misha's Super Extreme Waterproof Soft Pencil Eyeliner in brown to tight line and eyeline. You don't have to make it perfect because we're gonna smudge it out anyways. Oh, also, don't forget to do your inner corners because it makes a huge difference. Now with a small flat brush, smudge it away. Crystal never wears thick or any type of obvious eyeliner, so I prefer to do it this way so it still defines my eyes but not too conspicuous. Bring the remaining eyeliner to the lower lashes as well. If you've been keeping up properly, your eyes probably looking like this. I'm going to be taking the two same eyeshadows, Bliss and Bubbly, and apply it on my lower lashes. With Kitchen Eyeshadow, I open up my inner corners. Now I'm tightlining my rims with very soft and bronzy pencil. I use Power Surge from MAC. You can do your mascara, but I skipped that part and popped on a pair of very natural lashes instead. Curl your natural and false lashes together so they are not separately flying. Crystal always sports that dolly girly blush in the show, so I did the same with my Cryolong Glossy Box Collaboration Blush. To bring out that purplish pink even better, I used a Tweet House Mini Touch Blusher and just dust it on the tops of my cheeks. Finally, on to the lip, I'm using Leo Alice Mix Concealer to get rid of my original lip color so I can get the maximum swatch of the lipstick that I'm going to use. For the lipstick, I opted for Catrice Pure Shine Color Lip Balm in number 50 Cherry Tie. I do the first layer and then spread it with my finger. And I do the second layer but only in the center of my lips and then lightly spread it out. And voila! This is my finished makeup but not so much obviously. 
hop on a bright hued beret because that's her signature look in the show. I got mine for like $10 online. Adjust the shape of the beret to your liking and just play with it until you get the best position. I added a pair of pearl earrings and now it's done. Now all you gotta do is go find your perfect chanyeong. Or better yet, tell me what team are you? Are you team Kimchang or team Taeyongdo? Cause I know that I'm a little bit of both. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video for more fun.